So I figured it was time to do a, a review on my Skag 52 inch V ride and I'll show you guys how many hours I got. 228.50. So I'm um, a little bit backstory of how I got it. So my first year of my lawn care maintenance, I started off with a riding lawn mower. It's a John Deere X350. Um, and I used that my first year. And then my second year, I picked up this guy just because I was starting to get busy. And um, I needed something that was quicker, faster. The cut, cut quality, you know, would be better. Uh, the John Deere didn't really give me that many issues. I think I took it to the shop maybe two times um, in that year. And I mean, I put it through the ringer given that I knew nothing about lawn care maintenance in general. And, um, and you know, that that's what this channel's you know, that's what it's all about is um, learning and showing you guys uh, my mistakes and hopefully you guys can learn through my mistakes so you guys don't make the same mistakes I've done. Um, I try to be more active on YouTube. I know I keep saying that, but you know, it's just hard to like record and, you know, work. Cause you know, when I'm out in the field, you know, all I want to do is get through the yards as quick as possible. And I really don't have those extra, like, I mean, I have them, but I just don't want to like, you know, spend an extra three, four minutes. They add up. But, um, but yeah, it's my third year. And, um, my, after my, after my second year, I bought it, uh, or during my second year, I bought it and, um, the purchase price was close to 15000 because of the twills. And a lot of, I have a couple of my buddies that uh, think it's a waste of money. Uh, the twills itself were like close to 2000 And um, a lot of them just buy a $20 uh, plug kit. And whenever they get a, a flat, uh, they just fix it in 10 minutes. Um, for me personally, I've never done it. I'm sure it's easy. They say, you know, everyone says it's super easy to fix uh a flat tire on these guys but just knowing that i can go through any terrain and not worry about ever getting a flat tire i think that itself is worth the 2000 in the long haul so over the 200 hours that i've you know i've used this machine um not once did that ever occur to me or, or worry about you know a terrain or if it's wet or not now if it is like raining of course you don't want to be mowing just because uh you know these commercial mowers weigh over a thousand pounds and you will tear up their grass. So normally wait a few hours, six hours, maybe a day if it rains pretty heavy for a few days. Uh, but this one is the V-Ride with the 37 horsepower Vanguard. And this one's the 52 inch uh, deck. So that's 228 hours. Um, mulching system, this one came with like an automatic, which I'll show you guys. So um, it opens and closes. So when I'm, when I'm around flower beds and whatnot, I'll close it. And that way you don't put clippings on the, you know, you don't throw clippings into their mulch or flower beds. And um, cut quality, I mean, cut quality is great. I can't compare it to anything else except the, the riding lawnmower, uh, John Deere. But I mean, this one beats it by a long shot. Uh, it's definitely faster than, than the riding lawnmower. So I'm able to do more yards. I went from being able to do six to seven yards by myself to doing anywhere from nine to 11 yards by myself in the same time frame. Each yard I was cut, I, I was uh, finishing 15 to 20 minutes earlier just because of how quick it is uh, during slopes. I mean, I have some really deep slopes that I, you know, that this machine's able to go up and go down without any problems. Um, hasn't really given me any issues. It did have an oil leak when I first bought it and I took it back to the dealer and they fixed it up. And then um, like one of the, one of the wires came loose and it wasn't turning on. Um, so luckily I was able to put it in my um, in my trailer before it completely died on me. And then I took it and they fixed it within like five minutes. And I think that's it, honestly. Um, at the end of the year, you know, I'll do the regular maintenance, oil change, uh, hydro fluids, uh, get new blades. Uh, I'll have them do an inspection, make sure everything's good. So I think when that happened, um, I spent like an extra like, or that was like a four or $500 invoice. And again, they just checked it from head to toes to make sure everything was good for spring and summer. Um, but honestly, it hasn't really given me any problems. Uh, would I buy it again? Yes. Uh, you know, if you're thinking of getting one, get it. I know it's a lot of money once you think of it. But um, I financed it at 200, sorry, at, at 200, at 2% interest rate. And um, after it's all said and done in four years, all that I'm paying back because of the interest rate on top of the mower is um, $800, like eight to $900.
so we could say a thousand and that's more than i know what i'm paying um this more came out close to like fifteen thousand because of the tweels um if not it would have been like thirteen thousand and uh, my payments are 320 a month so i uh, just think of it like this like it's like 320 yes and that's kind of like a car payment like a nice car payment so it is a lot i'm not saying it's cheap but once you break it down um say 350 right so you would need to do seven yards in a month if you charge each one of them fifty dollars to like make your payment and honestly you could do that by in one day easily by yourself um now getting clients and you know going through the process of acquiring you know a lot of bi-weeklies now that's a different story um it's not easy it's a lot of like word of mouth um i use google and that's helped me a lot but um but once you break it down like that like oh like all i have to do is mow seven yards at fifty dollars and i've made my payment for this mower and then everything else is literally just extra um so i started off this year with 26 clients last year i finished with 50 and out of those 50 26 rolled over to this year and right now i'm at 44 and um and and, and this machine has definitely made a big impact in my business uh would i buy it again uh let me actually show you guys my backup mower so sorry i know it's messy it's always messy i'm trying to decide if i'm gonna get a shed or if i'm gonna get a box truck but my backup mower is a 48 inch uh skag v-ride this one's a newer one i bought this one used off of facebook marketplace uh with 36 hours it's at, it's at like 60 hours um i've mainly been using this guy for fall because of the mulching kit i think it's on the other side it has the hurricane mulch kit so um, when it comes to like mulching and, and shredding leaves, this guy beats the 52 by a long shot. Uh, but it is smaller. It's slower. This, this one has the Kawasaki 22 horsepower. Um, I bought this one for 6500 It was on the marketplace uh, for like three, four months. I waited till winter and I like made a low ball offer. I offered them 6000 The guy came back. He's like, if you, if you make it 65 pick it up tomorrow. It's yours. So I went the next day. I bought it. Um, then I took it to my dealer and paid, I think, a thousand because they did an oil change, hydro fluids. They changed the blades. They did an inspection from head to toe to make sure everything was good. Um, and luckily, everything came out great. They said it has no problems. Um, and that bill was close to, I, I want to say a thousand. That seems kind of high, maybe 500. I can't really remember. Uh, this one has the regular wheels. So I do have a tire plug kit. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to use it. I'm going to, obviously, you know, I'm using the, you know, I'm using them already. I'm going to wait till they give out on me and then switch over to the tweels. Cause like, again, I think they're definitely worth it in the long run. So now when this guy goes down, so again, during fall and winter, I'll use that. I was using that guy and I'll use it. I'll use it again during fall and winter. And then during spring and summer, I'll use this guy because it's faster, it's quicker, it's wider. Uh, but if this guy does go down, um i'll switch over to the other guy but uh, like i said uh in the past year because it's, it's been a little bit more than a year that i bought it um i've only taken it twice to my dealership and that's one of the perks of uh of what you get when you buy them new um is that you do get that dealer support it comes i think this one came with like a year warranty a one year or two year warranty um so definitely if you hear if you see something different or if you hear you know a strange noise take it back to them and they'll fix it um because you definitely want to use that warranty i'm pretty sure my warranty is about to expire but again in that year it's only you know it's it, and it was right when i bought it when i started making you know these um having these issues but um you got to take into account a lot of the time they're sitting you know in, in these warehouses for a year or whatever um so of course you know because they're not running they're not out um they'll have issues and in in, in the long run they're going to have any mowers going to have any issues probably some more than other but um again if, if you're thinking of doing it go for it uh, especially with the interest rate being so low it just uh it'll make your life easier you'll be able to make get more yards which will make you more money and then uh you know 320 it, it is a lot of money but at the same at the same time it's not um it's going to pay itself in the long run and um, i'm really into like 
throwing back money and everything that you make back into your business. And that's why I got my other mower so quick. Just because I know this is going to go down or one of my mowers is going to go down. Um, and it's going to be right in the middle of summer, right, you know, when we're picking up even more. And, um, and I don't want to lose clients because I'm not able to make it because I'm waiting a week or two weeks for them to get to my mower and whatnot. But um, like always, you know, like, subscribe. I appreciate y'all. If you want to, um, if you guys have any, have any questions, um, like I said, I try to be more active, but, you know, I'm pretty bad at it. Um, if you guys want to follow me on TikTok, I'm way more active there. Um, if you just look up Wheezy Weeds LLC, I should pop up. I, I think I'm under Manny or something. But if you type in Wheezy Weeds LLC, um, you'll see me. But uh, like always, peace.